Father God, fill me with your Holy Spirit and lead me what to say to your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, people of the world. I hope you're doing good. Listen, okay. The Lord gives his own reward for doing good and for being loyal. Okay. The Lord gives his own reward for doing good and for being loyal. Remember in the last video that I did, that was real quick. I, I was talking about making up your mind first and standing firm so that when temptation comes, you'll be strong enough to make the right decision. Right. Let me change this. Oh, no, no. I apologize. I'm changing the lighting because. Okay, there we go. So, okay. It's not just like temptation, like, you know, like these things that are your sins. Um, and Holy Spirit, please help me. God, do, help me do this right. Um, okay. So I'm reading about when David had the opportunity to kill Saul because he was chasing after him. Okay. And then um, David chose not to kill him because he is God's anointed one. Okay. So, so um, in, in my Bible, it said David could have killed Saul and Abner and made a point that that, but that action, it would have made the point that like, see, I could, I'm stronger than you or I'm smarter than you or whatever, you know, because Dade was uh, more favored by God. God put David in a situation where he could have killed Saul, you know, and you could think, okay, I was talking to my daughter about this the other day where like people do you bogus. People do you bogus, your own family members, your friends, um, you know, those people, people that are close to you, um, your brothers and sisters in Christ, people from church, who, whoever is like supposed in a position where they're su of trust, okay, where, where you're supposed to be able to trust them, you know, but um, somewhere along the way, um a situation arises where they're not there for you or like they they they're not on your side they don't back you up they're actually against you they hate you they're a hater okay they don't like you actually okay even though they're a family member okay or a friend or a brother and sister in Christ okay so the this person that's supposed to be on your side is not and god proved it to you god showed it to you through the uh whatever need or whatever situation it was you know whatever happened where god ex exposed it to you god showed you, showed you their true colors okay um david uh david and uh jonathan which is Saul, saul's son tested saul um to see if he really was jealous of david and david uh, lied and said oh I can't make it to this um banquet or something that uh Saul had prepared or whatever because he actually intended on attacking King David okay and David told him told Jonathan you know if he gets mad it's because he intended to hurt me and if he doesn't care uh then we're wrong you know and then you know so they did that to prove to test it to test his heart, to test King Saul, to see if he really did have ill intentions toward David. And he did. He got so upset that he wasn't there. He, you know, and, uh, and, uh, you know, besides that, that was just to prove it to Jonathan. Okay. Cause Jonathan sometime, cause Jonathan, that's his dad. King Saul's his dad and David's his best friend. So sometimes there's people that are in between, you know, where like they're, related to the enemy or they're friends with your enemy who's supposed to be you know either way they're supposed to be someone you can trust both of them are supposed to be someone you could trust but i'm saying the one that's your hater they're connected to other people that it could be like 
it's hard for them to believe that this other person doesn't like you okay but um thank you holy spirit god said i'm ex i'm explaining it so well and um oh god thank you glory to god because i need help with this okay and uh so be patient with me i hope i know i'm speaking to somebody god is speaking to you through me and i don't actually i'm not going through this myself at the moment but i am i have gone through it in the past so i kind of know how and plus there's this the bible god speaks to us through the bible you guys it's all there like all every situation under the sun nothing is new under the sun okay and god can use his word to speak to us through all kinds of situations that we may face and you may you might think that you're alone no one understands you how is god going to give you the answers to certain questions that you have but it's it's through his word you guys okay and i'm willing i'm here i'm available to the holy spirit and i'm here to tell you okay that god is very much well aware and he wants to reward you for doing good so i i'm i'm not sure if i have to tell you to make up your mind because i already said that before so i hope you received that word make up your mind about doing good doing what's right okay be the hands and feet of jesus be like jesus in these hard situations uh when you have to deal with your loved ones um you know and i already said the categories people from church people that are supposed to be on your side trustworthy family members close friends best friends okay and um choose to do what's right choose to do the right thing because god will reward you okay god is going to reward you you are being rewarded okay you're being protected you're being guarded god is with you he's on your side okay and and they are anointed by god too okay so that's what makes it so hard okay because they're your enemy but they're also a christian okay they're supposed to be a christian too and that's it's like you know i always ask god like god whose side are you on like do it may seem like certain leaders in the church or in life people above you it could be your parents it's just someone who's a christian that's above you in a place of honor where you're supposed to honor them where honor is due because they are either the pastor or a deacon or a teacher or your parent you know it's like you have to just honor them you know and give 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 um god whatever vengeance or resentment or hurt or pain they cause you you know whether it's willingly or unwillingly in this case saul was doing will doing it willingly okay he deliberately hated david because he was he had a spirit of jealousy he was jealous of david okay he was jealous of david's anointing okay and because Saul wasn't fully walking in the ways of the Lord, okay? At first he was, but he switched up, okay? And that's why the Lord himself sent Saul a tormenting spirit. And that's what it was. It's the spirit, it's this evil spirit in them be, that they receive because of disobeying the Lord that they want to attack you now, okay? Because you are anointed and you are walking in the ways of the Lord and you are already deliberately choosing to not give into the temptation temptation to take matters into your own hands in a vengeful way for vengeance okay even though it's deserved even though the lord is give, giving them over to you in a position uh where you are able to attack okay you are able to say things you are able to expose them humiliate them you know um you fill in the blank whatever god has you know whatever the situation may be for you so god i'm so I'm, I'm i feel like i'm doing such a good job like because it's just i have so much clarity right now and it's like just god and i want to point that out because god is good but anyways so you know what i'm saying give the video a like you know if it's for you totally because glory to god and um god is good give him a praise okay because you are going to be rewarded don't think don't be discouraged okay because david was discouraged i was reading a little further um and this is in first samuel tw chapter 26 verse 23 where it says the lord gives his own reward for doing good and for being loyal and i refuse to kill you even when the lord placed you in my power for you are the lord's anointed one now may the lord value my life even as i have valued yours today see now may the lord value my life even as i have valued yours today okay because 
Um, of course, we value life. God values our life. May may the Lord value your life. Okay. If the if if the situation if 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 uh, and that's what I was telling my daughter um the other day. Like God will turn the situation around. Okay. He could. He's gonna. God will turn it right now. King Saul is still the king, and he's above David. So David's the one running away from him. Right. But God will turn the situation around and put you in the position where now you're above. But even now, before David is king, he has the ability, okay, to overtake Saul out of vengeance and, and all of that, right? And 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 do what's right in his own eyes. <laughs> that was for somebody. And do what's right in his own eyes. So don't don't do what's right in your own eyes and your own wisdom, okay? Do it. Just give it to the Lord, okay? You don't want to have um the uh David also practiced this uh when a woman, one of his wives actually, he took her, uh Abigail. Um, she advised him not to kill her husband because he rejected him to help him. He rejected helping him in his time of need. Again, because Saul was after him, after King David. And David she what she said was so why she said you don't want to you're you know you're already anointed to be king okay and i feel the holy spirit you know you're already anointed to be king okay you are anointed to be a willing vessel of the lord jesus christ to do to walk in the ways of the lord according to his word and be faithful to the lord's commandments okay that's why you are chosen okay that's why the lord is favoring your life that's why that's why God is sending you this word of encouragement, of warning, and mostly encouragement because he doesn't want you to be uh, downcast, oh, your soul. He doesn't want you to be um, resentful, okay, because that opens up the unforgiveness in your heart is not a good thing, okay? God doesn't want you to feel timid or afraid, okay? He hasn't given you the spirit of fear but of power, love, and a sound mind in Jesus name through Jesus Christ and you are doing good okay God is watching you he's watching over your life he is ordering your footsteps but you are called to be careful okay and careful to obey God's word and God's commands right now it is so important for your anointing it's so important on the calling in your life okay because God is doing big things for you people other people around you of importance okay are watching you they admire you. They're looking at, they're looking at to see how you're going to react because they're aware of the situation, okay? Hence the person that is in between, people that are in the middle of all of this, okay? This situation, okay? The Lord is good. He is faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and cleanse uh, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, okay? And that's because we do make mistakes. For all have fallen short of the glory of God. So don't be hard on yourself, child of God, okay? God has not left you or forsaken you. He's on your side. He is going to he is turning the situation around. He already has. You you are um doing well. Okay? You're doing well. And um, just know that you will be rewarded for doing what's good in God's eyes, okay? And um, I also wanted to say, I want to finish because I feel like I'm done. But I want to say, I want to leave you with this, with that, the joy of the Lord. It's just some sprinkles. I, I feel like there is a whole Sunday, a chair, ch uh, ice creams, three layers, a cherry and these are just sprinkles now okay now we're just sprinkling some extra on here and it's the joy it's nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 the joy of the lord is your strength the joy of the lord is your strength okay may this word bring you joy in the lord and that it through the lord the lord Having joy in him is your strength because the Lord is watching over you. The Lord is in control, okay? The Lord is aware of the situation. The Lord, the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. He's watching over you. He's watching over you. He's protecting you. He is your protective shade, child of God, okay? I have to... 
I said it like that on purpose to get through to you so that you receive it, so that you believe it, okay? Don't let the seed fall on bad ground. Don't be discouraged. Don't be afraid. God is going to work everything out for good to those who love him and are called according to his purpose, on purpose, for a purpose. There is purpose in this, okay? Every detail of your life, God is delighting in every detail of your life because he is in control. He is ordering you. He is ordering your steps. He is speaking to you, okay? So that you can believe him. Believe him. Draw nearer to God, closer. You may, you already are doing good, okay? So just continue. Continue to fast. Continue to seek God. Continue to forgive. Continue to deliberately choose to do, to set your mind to do what is right in God's eyes, not in your own eyes. Not on your own wisdom and understanding, okay? Because God's ways are higher. They're higher. They're above. He's working all the time through everything. Not Nothing is wasted, child of God. Nothing is wasted. No good deed. No prayer. No fast. No uh, forgive it. forgiveness is wasted, okay? It's all working out for your good, even the bad things. It's all, everything the devil thinks he did to set you back, everything the devil thinks he's doing now to set you back from moving forward by faith in the narrow road because many are called, but few are chosen, child of God. You are chosen. You are one of the few. You are walking in alignment with the power of the Holy Spirit, okay? And you are learning to follow God's voice and his instructions for good, okay? For his glory, for the glory due to God, Jesus' name, okay? So act on it, apply it, apply God's word, okay? Take this treasure, okay? And, and, and guard it, guard your heart, guard your mind, and don't forget your joy doesn't come from other people. It doesn't come from material things. It doesn't even come from a label, okay? From uh, your title, who you, who, whatever your title is in this world, okay? It comes from the Lord, the joy of the Lord, knowing that God is with you. He's fighting for you. He is making the way. He already has prepared the way for you. Okay, to triumph, to walk in victory, hold your head up. Okay, smile. <sighs> Take a deep breath. You know what to do. All right, keep going. Don't give up. The devil is a liar. He's already defeated. He's a defeated foe. He, that lion, he's, he's, he's roaring and roaring because you're doing the right thing. Okay. And uh, he's on a leash. He has limited access to you. He has limited power. Okay? And whatever God allows the enemy to do, uh-huh, to test you is meant to show you your own strength. Okay? Because what you are overcoming, many others have not overcome. Many others give up. Many others fall and don't get back up. They quit. They resent God. They turn on God. They stop being a Christian altogether. Their heart gets broken and they just fall into confusion and the deceit and the lies of the enemy. And that is not. And if you have done that, return to the Lord. Return to the Lord. Return to the Lord Jesus Christ because he come boldly back. Be to God because it's by his grace okay it's by God's grace okay your sins are already forgiven past present and future sins they're already forgiven okay through the blood of Jesus Christ when you first believed okay so if you have backslid it's never too late to come back as long as you feel conviction if you feel convicted if you feel like God has abandoned you or he doesn't you've done too much or gone too far or he can't forgive you that's a lie from the pits of hell okay i've been through that 
where I've fallen away, I made a mistake, and then I it's my own guilt. Guilt. God doesn't give you uh guilt, okay? Okay, he gives you not where it's like tormenting and you feel like if you feel like God doesn't love you anymore, if you feel like God doesn't want to use you anymore in a certain way, you can't preach anymore, that is a lie from the devil himself, okay? God loves you so much. He gave his only son, okay? He loved us yet while we were still in sin, okay? And 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 as long as we're on earth, you're going to need Jesus. You're going to need help from Jesus, the Holy Spirit, to guide you every day, okay? You have to repent for your sins daily. You have to repent as you go, okay? Get back up. The righteous fall seven times, so you will fall, okay? And it's not literally only seven times. It's a metaphor, okay? Or it's a figure of speech or whatever. Get back up. Okay, child of God, get back up, return to the Lord, keep going, stop drinking, stop smoking, stop uh, uh, committing adultery, um, stop uh, committing fornication, sex outside of marriage, um, having sex with other married people, and, 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 and you're not married, and they are, and they're claiming to be single, and they're confused, and it's all just a big mess. Don't think that there's anything, any sin that you've committed, okay? that is too big that God can't forgive you, okay? That it's just such a big mess that you're thinking you're too far gone and you can't give, give, you can't come back to God, okay? Forgive yourself and come boldly to the throne. And God is like the prodigal child, the prodigal son. He, he came to the end of himself and realized and then came back to Jesus, came back to his father, okay? He didn't come back to Jesus. He came back to his dad. But to us, that's our dad, okay? Our heavenly father is Jesus, okay? So father, son, and Holy Spirit, okay? But they're all one, okay? That's what we believe. So no to the devil, no to the spirit of confusion. I bind that rebuke that over you. I declare a fresh anointing over you, child of God, by faith in Jesus' name, okay? And... You have to choose, you have to choose to believe, okay? In spite of what the world says, in spite of what your situation around you says, I know you feel the Lord is tugging at your heart. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Come back to me, my child. Come back to me. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord needs to be your strength. And if you're feeling weak and weary because you are not accepting that, you're not believing that and taking it to heart and, and rewashing, re retraining your brain with the truth of God's word because the world will lie to you. The world will tell you it's too late. Give up. You're done. It's over. You've messed up. You did, you did too much. No, you didn't. Okay? I don't even know you and I'm here to tell you that, okay? Because God, God's telling, telling you through me, okay? And I feel him. I feel him. Oh, Father God, help us to be still and know that you are God. And uh, forgive us our sins, Lord God. I hope that I'm doing your, your word justice, Lord God. I hope, God, I have a window right here and the light is shining through and I'm just talking to God because I can see the sky. Father, May this be glorifying to you, God. I hope, forgive me if I said anything wrong, if I left anything out, if I messed up, God. Cover me in your precious blood. Cover the viewers in your precious blood, Lord, the blood of Jesus. And just help us to continue in this walk, Lord, by faith, Lord, by faith. Because it's by grace. You're the, it's your grace that sustains us, Lord. It's your grace that allows us to continue without that covers all this sin all our our guilt and and thinking that lord we that we're not good enough for you ever lord and 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 as long as we're trying our hardest our best that is enough lord heavenly father help us to believe that we just need faith as small as a mustard a mustard seed and that you will do the rest lord anyways lord we touched this prayer in agreement God, I hope that it is actually recording and that I can upload it for you, God, and that it's really helping your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Please give your life to Jesus Christ.
return to him. Please do it today. I love you. Be encouraged. I'll see you in the next video.